We've had an amazing time over the last three weeks visiting different continents in art, music, dance, and PE, learning about artists, cultures, countries, and sports. Let's cheer on the 205 countries participating in this year's 2021 Summer Olympics, including Team USA. Team USA. Team USA. Green Crayon says Team USA too. Let's pass on the torch. K to two friends will work on a torch and flame illustration. Third to fifth friends will create a poster showing their support to Team Team USA. Team USA. And middle school friends will create a pencil drawing of a torch and flame. I'll see y'all on the drawing board. Hey friends, today we're gonna draw the Olympic torch and flame. And the Olympic games was founded on the love of sport, unity and competition, and an ancient tradition of physical fitness. In 1936, the tradition of the torch relay began and the torch was lit from the basin of fire at the original location of the games, which was in Olympia, Greece and runners would carry it to the host country of the year's games in a symbolic race from the past to the present. There's a lot of symbolism involved with the torch. So today we're going to use the following materials. You will need a blank sheet of paper, pencil, eraser. Uh, this is optional, anything to create forms of color today. I'm going to keep it strictly to a pencil drawing today. I'm just going to go ahead and clear my board. And I'm going to draw a couple of sketch lines and this is going to help anchor my drawing onto my page. The first thing I want to do is create the base of where my flame is going to be lit. So I have one, two, This is the base for my torch. So now I'm gonna go over this line, make it a little bit darker. Add a lip area. We'll come back in and fill in a lot more details. This is the basic outline. We'll have our flame. I want to show my flame has a little bit of movement. So I'm going to make it go towards the top right corner. Our flame has some beautiful curves. So you want to imagine some curves happening while you are drawing the outline of your flame. The direction of your line should take your flame towards the top corner of your page. As your flame gets closer to the base, it should start to get a little bit wider. And then on the inside, we have just a couple of added details. This is just gonna show a little bit of dimension. If you were adding color to this, I would use a combination of red, some yellows, maybe some oranges in here. Okay, and then there is a, almost like a triangular handle that happens. So I want to have a little bit of symmetry. Remember, these are what we call our sketch lines. They don't have to be perfect. Okay, 
And then in our sketch lines, I'm going to erase this part. Now we're shifting the base of the torch towards the back of the handle. Okay, we're going to draw our hand now. So we'll have a slightly diagonal line. And then the side of our index finger, depending on the angle that you look at, it's going to have a sort of a little dip. You want to imagine that you have a closed fist when you are drawing the hand grabbing on to the torch. Going to erase the torch line that way you can actually see the hand and the arm Just a little bit better so the hand is in a clasp position it's almost like this hold it this way <laughs> let's add some details in this this is called hatching lines. This helps create a little bit of depth. Uh, if you don't want to shade, this is a great way to show a little bit more emphasis and some perspective. I like to use a combination of hatching lines and cross hatching lines, especially in a pencil drawing. The direction of your lines help tell the form. So your fingers are going to be closed. They're also curved. So we want to have a combination of lines that show curve. And we also want to show some height in the fingers as well. And right about here, there is almost like a shadow that happens between the fingers. Same with here. A little bit of hatching lines. And now we will cross hat some lines. My cross hatch lines are going to curve in the direction of my skin. So you imagine the bottom of your hand, all these little wrinkles, all these folds. What happens to your hand when you curve it? And then right under here, there's going to be a little bit of dimension. It almost looks like it's slightly dark. So you want to create the illusion that there's a shadow that happens from the torch into the arm. And then you also have some uh, deeper space and some very interesting lines that happen across here. This helps create the form 
that the arm is rounded. Same to this side. Some hatching lines would help me with that. Now this is going to be the knuckle section of the hand. So when your arms are closed, there's going to be a little bit of uh, some darker areas here. Right about here, there's almost like a dimple that happens. So I want to make sure that this part is a little bit on the darker side. I'm going in and I'm strengthening some of my lines. These lines need to be a little bit more on the bolder side. If you were using a Sharpie, I would strongly recommend using a Sharpie on the exterior lines, which is what I'm doing. Some very faint lines. This is just showing a little bit of, just a slight bit of skin color change. Maybe there's a little bit of glare. Let's work on our torch. Since we're not applying color, we want to make sure that our torch is dark enough, round enough, that our emphasis that we're placing on the torch itself is actually seen. So the torch is made out of metal and metal has a very nice way of showing a little bit of shine so our cross hatching lines are going to really help tell that there's a little bit of shininess that happens some cross hatching lines down at the base And I really want to show that this is curved, so I'm going to darken this part here. And note that the length of the lines go from long into not quite as long. And then we'll have some cross-hatching lines. These cross-hatching lines are going to be parallel to the curve, the initial curve that we have. And it's really going to help with the overall form. Some more cross-hatching lines. Some on this side. And even in our fire, we'll have a few hatching lines. These are going to be a little bit on the lighter side. This is just going to show a little bit of depth. If you need to re-highlight some of the existing lines, you can do so. Hatching lines also help you with direction. So these hatching lines are leaning towards the right corner, right top corner of my page. That tells me and that tells you that our fire has some direction and that there's movement happening.
take our eraser, make sure we have our lines that we don't need or want removed. And there we have it, friends, our own pencil drawing of the Olympic torch. That was amazing. I can't wait to see your artwork. I can't wait to celebrate the 205 participating countries, July 23rd to August 8th. I'll say that again, July 23rd to August 8th. Till next time, friends, stay safe and have a great summer. Bye. Bye. Green Crayon says bye too.